Hi, Leo. This is your reading for September 2020, and I'm so excited to get this to you. Leo, what a month ahead, and I'm so excited as well on my channel. There's a lot I'll be offering all of you, so make sure to check the description box below this video and make sure to sign up for some of the things that I'll be offering and make sure to click the subscribe button, click the like button, click the gray bell so you receive the updates and subscribe to my email list because you never know and that way you'll always know where I'm at and you'll always be able to get a hold of me. Okay, so let's get started with this month and see what's coming up for you. I'm working with the Germanic Oracle of the Gods as well as the Ancestral Path Tarot as well as the Work Your Light Oracle. Okay, let's see what's coming up. What are the main themes for this month of September for Leo, for the archetype, the line Leo? And please don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, if you're cross-watching, you know, and um, see what comes up for you. You can even check out all the videos and just see what is happening in each aspect of your, you know, that life that that sign rules. So let's see. Leo, please. Leo. What's coming up for Leo for September? Leo, September. Okay, four cards. Here we go. So we've got Leo. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so we've got here a um, giantess and remember these are ancient stories and I'm not going to get into all of them right um, I'll only get into the points and by the way the extended version will be linked in the description box below of this video so you can go check that out but um, we've got here grid and grid it says is um, Hilfsbereitschaft or willingness to help desire to help so this energy is coming in for September, this desire to help, this willingness to help, someone reaching out a helping hand, um, asking a helping hand of you. We've got Ran, and this is getting tied up in knots, right? Getting um, attached to something. We've got healing or wholeness and the golden age, the golden reaching the golden age. And we've got Aegir, or movement, the god of the ocean. So let's get through one by one. When it comes to grid, um, the grid is a, um, a giantess that Thor met on one of his, uh, several of his journeys. And um, she lent him wisdom and her weapons and reached a helping hand out to him. So there's someone who's stepping into your life, Leo. Someone is coming into your life. Maybe you've been praying. Maybe you've been asking, why is nobody on my side? Why can't I find the support I need? Dear God, <laughs> um, why is nobody helping me, looking out for me? Why am I doing all this by myself? And Spirit is saying, you know what? No, we're sending you a helping hand. We're reaching a helping hand out to you. We're giving you a helping hand. You just have to take it. So Leo, don't let pride get in your way. Um, a lot of you are very prideful people and that's beautiful about you. It's wonderful about you. However, it can be, you know, everything has two sides. And on the one hand, it's one of those majestic things about you that is absolutely amazing. On the other hand, it's like, it's okay to accept help. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to reach out and let someone help you. It's okay to help someone because sometimes people get into this, oh, you need to figure it out for yourself or you need to work through this and learn something when it's actually you that needs to learn compassion, empathy, and the willingness to help, right? So this situation may be coming up in September for you, right? Where it's um, someone gives you a helping hand or you give them a helping hand and it teaches you something. There's something that you gain from this exchange, something that you gain from this experience that is going to be really important for your soul development and soul growth moving forward. The second card that's coming up is Ran. Ran is one of the goddess, uh, the wives actually of Aegir, the god of the ocean here. And she lives at the bottom of the sea and it's said that she, you know, she's got that siren song and she can tie souls to her and she has this never-ending greed for souls and gold. <laughs> and so 
there may be a situation that is coming up where you feel since they came in together like the help that is being offered to you right is seems like a sticky situation you know so you have to be discerning like why is this person wanting to help does this person really want to help you or do they want to entrap you in something um are you using help to entrap someone else right so there's this feeling of distrust that runs through it's it's like whoever's coming in to help you leo you're feeling like i can't trust this person i don't know what they're about i don't know what their agenda is or what they're bringing in and um sometimes however it's it's like even though this person is a little dangerous to you it's still an okay thing to receive help from them there's something about soul growth and soul development that goes in with this that is seems to be important and it feels like you almost need to learn how to get yourself extricate yourself from certain sticky situations you have to learn what it is about the situation that is sticky for you that is um um gets you tied up you know like where's your weakness in this why is the siren song such a potent song for your soul right why is it that you feel i need to see this or go there or get there there's also someone in your life that may be very beautiful but you feel like you see right through their beauty leo you feel like uh, you know i i know who you are i see exactly who you are and um you're not impressing me anymore and it feels like um there's something odd i i don't even know how to put it but every time you're with this person it feels like you you have to do these deep soul dives or something like that and it's not just having fun there's always this ulterior agenda there's this um other a lot of manipulation it feels like you also feel like you want to liberate yourself you feel like you need help liberating yourself from a manipulative situation some of you may be finding yourself trapped in a situation and you're wondering who's going to help me get out of this how can i help myself get out of this and it's it's kind of like you are firmly convinced that once you get out of it you'll step into the golden age you feel like once this is behind me whatever this attachment is this this um tied upness is um i'll step into the golden age and it's almost like spirit is saying you know what it's a promise that you're going into the golden age right leo that um there is going to be a life after this that you are going to get through whatever this lesson is and you're going to make it to the top um what's interesting i love this card because it's showing three figures here in the light i don't know if it shows up right so there are three you've got helpers on the spiritual side as well leo it's not just on this side that people are reaching a helping hand to you you've also got help on the spiritual side another thing about these sticky um emotions here this seems to be really important because i keep going back to it is it feels like you have trapped emotions that's what it is you have trapped emotions within you leo that keep pulling everything down it's no matter what you get that makes you happy or should make you happy it turns into sludge or mud as it keeps getting dragged down into the depths of your despair and you feel like i need help to get out of this emotional funk i need help to get out of this emotional situation that i find myself trapped in i want to experience this golden time i want to be healed i want to be feel whole again i feel want to feel whole within myself again i don't want this 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 siren in me to like bring everything down drag everything through the mud negate everything make everything bad and it could be as well that because this is within you leo and i know i'm going a little bit deeper with this reading than i actually wanted to but because this is within you right this siren deep within that is um an unhealed aspect of yourself a negated aspect a neglected aspect um pushed aside aspect of yourself um because it is within you and since it's unhealed you may be projecting it outward to other people that you're encountering and dealing with right so in your relationships you may be seeing like i said before you may be see, having someone who's very beautiful in your life and you're like ugh but are you sure it's them or is this your filter that you're seeing the world through you know and other people through which is actually an unhealed aspect within you so there's that and once you overcome that you might need help to overcome that um and it doesn't mean help like and even if it does mean help like as in um support or therapy or anything like that it doesn't matter um but maybe just a friend to bounce things off of or you know talk things through as long as you're truthful about the situation 
the golden age is coming right and the golden age i love this card this is after uh, ragnarok the um the 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 uh, world downfall you know the downfall of the gods the ending of the gods and these two human beings climb up the tree of life and they make it to the top after everything's burnt down and destroyed and they start life anew and this is a guarantee and it's a promise that life always goes on and always continues and that after you've overcome certain things within yourself leo life is going to go on for you in a much more beautiful elevated highly amazing way um the another thing that may be coming up for you in september leo is movement so you may be contemplating movement you may be contemplating travel and it may be something that's a little bit daunting for you like we know what's going on right so this may be a time where travel is daunting or it's a little bit a lot that is combined with it but it feels like it's something that you feel you need to do or you need to overcome somehow um but also there's this emotional aspect of this card emotional subconscious aspect of this card where a lot of subconscious emotions are coming up and out and it's almost like I can't control it anymore it's like I have to scream I have to let it out I have to um, get it out of me I have to express this and um, in it's it's not only the negative sides but also the beautiful sides the joy that is coming up for you right so let's dive into it a little bit more and see where this is all really headed and um we've got the work your light tarot cards <coughs> excuse me and let's see the theme of the month for leo there we go <laughs> joy of life the card that popped out it says play don't be so serious have fun right have fun and it fits right in with this you know golden age that is coming up for you right so september is really it's it's a month that's asking you to have fun with it that asks you to have fun again asks you to celebrate all right let's see what the tarot cards are saying Leah. for romance finance uh yeah money health everything else overall advice this one okay so when it comes to love leo we've got the four of wands and the four of wands has to do with happiness has to do with joy celebration we've got here this couple in their ancient egyptian home and i love the ancestral path tarot because i felt called to use it because i feel like in september for a lot of us for most of us for many of us a lot of past life stuff is coming up to be cleared um it, it seems to be running through that this is the opportunity now to get rid of some deep dark sludge that has been hanging out in the depths of our consciousness for eons of time and so we've got the four of um, wands here and it's showing this beautiful ancient Egyptian scene so it may be some of you are bringing this in from ancient Egypt Leo or from Atlantis or from that aspect you know you may be coming in from a different a timeline entirely or a different world right and um, where this ancient egypt still exists but it seems that there's an aspect of you that remembers this time there was a time in some point in your existence in your experience where you had this you had this beautiful marriage you had this beautiful life you had everything that you wanted and needed and desired and it was beautiful and there was no feeling whatsoever of shame or blame or guilt for having it. it it was the norm for you it was just what it was and it's almost like i want to go back there i want to experience this again if i could just taste these moments again it would be all i needed to get back into this frequency get back into this vibration and recreate that for myself and when it comes to relationships or marriages it may be well that you do that you can do that in meditation just sit and meditate and go back into a time where everything was harmonious and everything was peaceful maybe with a person that you're with or with someone else because it's just about the energy and bring that into your here and now because you have the knowledge deep within you you know what you need to do you know who you need to be with as well leo for a good relationship and the person that you're with you know how to treat them you know to for them to 
feel comfortable and how to make a home and how to make a safe, stable relationship. So it's, um, it's okay to revisit those moments. Just don't get stuck in them, right? That's the big thing. We like to get stuck in these things and um, just don't get stuck in it. It's really just to remind yourself, just to taste that once again, remind yourself of what it used to be like and bring the knowledge back in with you and use it, right? Use it in this life. There's, there's a lot that you're coming into this life with, Leo. And um, this is not your first go around around the sun. Guaranteed. Not for, for sure not if you're born in the sign of Leo. <laughs> and um, it, it feels like um, your, your, your hopes and dreams, right? Um, you, can, you need to share it with your partner as well. We can see these two here talking to each other or she's listening and receiving and um, that's what the feminine does is the masculine gives and the feminine receives right so this is in perfect balance here and um, it feels like it's it's time to talk about your dreams as well with your partner maybe build a future right um, talk about what you see in the future what kind of future you want to create with them they need to hear it coming from you Leo maybe you desire to hear it from your partner though you are the one that desires to hear from your partner what is it that what kind of a future do you see with me what kind of a future do you want to build with me what kind of future can we create together do we even have a future so this may be a topic that's also coming up is about the stability longevity the future plans the um current you know situation with you guys but you're really desiring and hoping and wishing and dreaming of this four of wands kind of energy right in your relationship then when it comes to um money and finances we've got the five of cups leo so there may be some disappointments here but it's not an all-out full loss it's simply a disappointment and um it, it feels like it's it's you i think you banked on someone or something this may be a project this may be a job this may be a, someone you put your emotions in and since this is about disappointment right um, you may feel like someone either passed you by, didn't recognize you, maybe a promotion, um, maybe something that you invested in, it didn't turn out the way that you hoped for. Um, but there's still the possibility of friendship. There's still something left, not all is lost, right? And, but it does feel as there's a subtle kind of betrayal or I expected something different, an expectation that wasn't met. And it feels like, um, even though you felt like i had what it took you know like i'm a king i know what i'm doing right you've got that leonine crown here it seems that you feel like someone else took something from you that um should have been actually easy for you to to get or to deal with you know but it it's it's interesting then again you may be dealing with the disappointment of someone else leo right so you may be feeling guilty for living your life making yourself happy um you may feel guilty you know you may move on from a job or a workplace and they're like please don't go we still need you and you're like well i can't you know because i've got this great offer and i'm gonna take it and it may be that you're you're leaving something behind right moving forward in your career and your finances because this is about finances maybe you're leaving something behind in in an unsettled way so it's important that you have closure or give closure in order to move on cleanly and not have any karma come your way from the past really important okay then when it comes to health we've got the five of swords leo so health wise it seems like there's a little bit of a battle here you know five of swords is kind of like something may sneak up on you but um not to be alarmed the the every card has a positive and a negative right every single card so even though the five of swords traditionally is one of more negative cards in the deck we know that we learn a lot from these experiences so the five of swords may be showing you or showing up to tell you 
where you're self-sabotaging. It may be showing where you're battling yourself, you know, or not in agreement or in congruency with yourself or where you're not in alignment with the highest good. Um, where are you trying to cheat? It could be that you're cheating on your diet. It could be that you're cheating in, in certain ways when it comes to health or you're trying to cut corners or you're trying to sneak your way through things or you're not telling people certain things about what's going on or you're trying to ignore things. So this may come up in September where you're going to have to face it, right? In order to deal with it, in order to heal something, you've got to look at it. Then when it comes to everything else, we've got the Prince of Swords for you as well. And um, so it may be a little bit of a whirlwind when it comes to the month of September. Some of you may be living in areas where it will be kind of stormy, breezy, windy, um, because the Knight of Swords tends to also indicate that kind of weather. But that being said, um, when it comes to family and friends, there may be a lot of clearing that is necessary. Um, Leo, you may be cutting people out of your life. You may be distancing yourself from people that you feel aren't supportive of you or weren't truthful with you because they're coming in together, the Five of Swords and the Prince of Swords. So it may be that you're distancing yourself from fake friends. The advice for you, Leo, is the King of Swords, and that is to be very clear and discerning in this month of September. You have to be absolutely sure what it is that you want and go for it. Don't hesitate. Look, he's ice fishing, and when they're ice fishing, they see the fish and they just jam the spear down. That's it. There's no hesitation, and you have to do it the same way. As well, when you're hunting for negative thoughts that are detrimental to you when it comes to money or finances, because it seems like money and finances are going to bring uh, money and health I'm sorry are going to be bringing up themes for healing for you so when you have negative thoughts around that um, you have to be like this king of swords and immediately just grab the thought grab that negative thought and figure out where is it coming from what aspect of myself thought this why am i thinking this why did i attract this thought to me rudolf steiner said thoughts are living things right so they all already exist and we're just like according to our frequency and our vibration we're like little satellite dishes that just tune into certain frequencies that carry these kind of thoughts or information so when you have negative thoughts, you can find out why am I tuned into this? Why am I tuned to this station within myself? What experience caused me to think this is a vibration that is going to give me the information I need to survive? So it's um, an opportunity for you as it always is and you can take it. But the main theme for this month of September, Leo, is to have fun, to be playful, to be joyous because you especially Leo need that kind of playful energy to accomplish anything like you're not like Capricorn that needs like this seriousness about things you know you need playfulness you need joy you need happiness and fun and it has to be something that is positive for you that makes sense for you to do why would you do something that's not fun Leo <laughs> anyways have an awesome September and I'll see the rest of you guys over on the extended version where we talk about love and finance bye